it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Well, you know Thanksgiving is coming up. And so I'm going to show you how to make your own cranberry sauce. Now, right now, cranberries, the, the raw cranberries that look like that, are going to be a pretty good bargain because of Thanksgiving. So, um, I think the cheapest I've seen this week was $1.88, and they usually come in 12-ounce bags. Why 12 ounces and not a pound, I don't know. But anyway, um, the cheapest I've seen is $1.88. I've seen them two for four, um, even uh, two for five somewhere. But $1.88 is pretty good, and so right now you're going to be able to find cranberries pretty cheap. So, um, I'm going to show you how to make cranberry sauce. This is very easy. It's so simple. I think you'll just be surprised about it. Uh, when I first started making it, I was pretty surprised myself. So, then this is going to be the basic, basic cranberry sauce. Um, I'm not putting anything in there such as orange or orange juice or anything like that. It's simply cranberry sauce. So what I have here, I have a 12 ounce package of uh, cranberries, a whole raw cranberries. Now these were actually frozen because I had gotten a good buy. Um, actually, last year they have been in my freezer for a year. Uh, and so this was my last package. Um, so all I've done is I just put this the cranberries in a saucepan and I have added three quarter cup of water. Now I will put the recipe in the description box below and so you can have it for yourself. It's very easy. But I'll put it down there and then that way all you have to do is copy and paste and, and you can uh, make this yourself. Now all we have to do is just simply bring this uh, the cranberries to a simmer. Um, and uh, then we will add our sugar, okay? Okay, now, now let's face it. Cranberries tend to be somewhat controversial. You either, I think you either really love cranberries um, <clears throat> or you don't like cranberries. And sometimes the reason why people don't like cranberries is because of, for example, when I was growing up, um, Back in the 50s and 60s, cranberries, um, many, many holidays, we had that jelly cranberry stuff in a jar. <clears throat> and um, uh, truthfully, I don't mind it. <laughs> and then there's the cranberry sauce in the can. Um, you can buy cranberries, uh, cranberry sauce in the deli, and it comes in many different ways, the cranberry relish, etc., but it's rather pricey in the deli. Um, and of course, uh, it's cold, it's not in a can. Uh, but honestly, I think that you might um, like it better and other people might like it better if you make it yourself. So, <clears throat> we're gonna bring this to a simmer and then when it reaches that simmer, we're gonna simmer it for a few minutes and then we'll come back, we'll put our sugar in and um, then we'll go from there. All right, these are coming up to a simmer. I've turned the heat down. I'm going to let them simmer for about five minutes. And I've got my heat on medium low. So you want to turn your heat down low enough so that the simmer remains, but, but you're not going to lose that much of your, your liquid. But you'll see as they simmer that the... Um, cranberries will start to pop. So I've got them five minutes, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. I imagine this won't take any longer than maybe a couple of minutes, actually. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm going to turn my timer off because, honestly, they're starting to split already. See? And I see no reason to let them go too long. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to add my sugar. Actually, they've been going about three minutes. All right, awesome. So I'm going to add my sugar. 
and get that mixed in. Now then, I'm going to keep the, my heat turned on low and these are going to cook on low for about 10 minutes and um, then that's it. <laughs> We're going to put, I'm going to put them in um, mason jars and um, let it cool off and then we'll pop it in the refrigerator. So that's pretty much it and uh, I'm going to put my timer on about 10 minutes and that's going to be it. All right, we'll come back and show you what we got. Now, listen, babysit this. Don't, don't leave it and don't let your heat get too high because you don't want your sugar to burn. And so stay nearby, okay? All right. All right, now we got a good rolling boil going here. And I do have this turned down low, by the way. Take a look at that. And I'm just giving it an occasional stir. Now, once in a blue moon, you might hear a pop, um, like poof, poof, that's your cranberries. <laughs> so, that's all that is. It's no big deal. So, uh, we've got about ooh, six minutes left, so I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to stir it. I have my um, couple of pint jars here ready to fill, and... Um, then we will come back and our cranberry sauce will be done. Isn't this great? Aren't you excited? <laughs> Okie doke. A few more minutes. We're almost there. Now you see how that's cooked down and becomes syrupy? And look at how the cranberries are, are burst. See how they're burst? So that's what we're looking for. Now, you may ask why so much sugar, but if you've ever bitten into a raw cranberry, they are extremely, extremely sour and bitter. So, and dry. You don't, you do not, um, I, I, a raw cranberry is honestly just something I wouldn't want to eat. I like dry cranberries, and I like, um, cranberry sauce. So, a little bit more time, and we're going to come back. Now, if if you're if you're starting to look good like this, and it hasn't been on for ten minutes yet, because I've got a few minutes left, then you feel free to use your own judgment, take it off, and fill your jars. So, I'm probably just going to go just short of ten minutes. Ten minutes may be a tad too long for me. Okie doke. We've run this now about, oh, eight minutes. And I've decided, because I'm the cook and I'm the best judge, <laughs> and you're the cook and you're the best judge, so see how that looks? That's what you're looking for. So when you see that, feel free to take it off the heat. All right. So let's take a look here, and I'm just going to show you going to put this in my jar. Now, I've got my little um, jar funnel. It's for canning, but I really love this thing. I have two of them. I highly recommend getting one, even if you're not a canner. That's my, my opinion. I'm going to fill this jar up, and I have a second jar in case I need it, but I think because I've got this much left, I'm just going to put it in a little dish and um, save it. Well, not save it, eat it, actually. <laughs> this I'm going to save. All right. So... And then I've got my lid here, and I'm not preserving this in the traditional way. I'm just putting my lid on, and I'm going to save it for later. Now, what happens is when it's really hot, the, the canning lid will form a seal. This is an old lid. It'll form a seal, but it's not preserved. 
it will seal up and I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator so you have to refrigerate it and it but it does because it's kind of vacuum seals it makes it last a little bit longer well actually a lot longer in your refrigerator so there it is there is cranberry sauce you can make this ahead of time uh, and also keep in mind it freezes very well I think you'll be happy with that if you want to do a variation on your cranberry sauce uh, make your own sauce and then look up some recipes um, to add orange or orange zest that kind of thing uh, feel free to look them up there's all kinds of them out there but I'm going to um, I'll put this little recipe down in the description box below and uh, you go there and you can feel free to use it anytime you want now uh, oh I am on uh, Simple Food Simple Life is on Facebook I always put my Facebook link down there for Simple Food Simple Life and um, I always post the videos on the Facebook page but I also put other little things in there as well and some encouragement because we all need that and um, so just make sure that you check that out and all you have to do is just like it and um, no membership it's nothing like that um, and uh, just be sure and and do that and oh don't forget to like subscribe and share because everybody needs to know this stuff <laughs> all right now look in the bargains find a bargain on your um, cranberries and go there pick some up and if they're a really good bargain pick up a couple bags for the freezer because Christmas is coming too and you can make your own your very own cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving okay all right I love ya if I can do it you can do it and just remember as always little is much when God is in it okay love ya talk to you later bye